Okay, to replace the fixed panel glasses in a silver line window, um, I'm going to show you this on a single hung window. Uh, a single hung and a single slider should the glass should come out basically the same. The first thing you're going to want to do is pull the screws and remove your strike plate on the back of the, of the window there. So there's two, it'll be two small screws and you'll remove that. Set that aside. Um, take your sash, open it up. On a single hung, you've got to slide it kind of at an angle and then it'll come out. Um, on a single slider, it's, it should be a lift up and pull in the bottom. Around the glass itself, you have a glazing bead here. This small little block here, it's about an inch wide or half an inch wide. Um, you need to uh, pull that out in order to get the glass out. So using a 3 8 inch chisel, um, if you just put it right in this crack, the crack between the glazing bead and the frame there, you'll see, you're going to tap it into there, and it'll kind of pull it out a little bit, and then pry on it. You can pry on it, and then it'll come out. Once you get it, it'll, the whole thing will pop right out. So you're going to do that all the way around. Just pound it in enough to get your get the tip of your chisel in there. They don't come out easy, believe me. There. Try not to bend them. You're going to want to put these back in again. I may have to get that one out. Yeah, really snapped in there tight. This one here, I'm going to try and get this. Yeah. Yeah, finally it popped. So these are going to snap back in after you're done. At this point, the glass is glued in here, okay? It's got um, silicone holding it between the frame and the glass. So you're going to need a thin putty knife, um, real flexible. And try to be careful, don't pry on the glass. Just slide it, and it's going to be tough. With a little rubber gasket there, you're going to have to slide it between the glass and the frame. And be very, very careful not to pry it all. And again, they, it doesn't go in there easy without... So try not to break the glass, because if you break the glass, it makes it a lot harder. And you may want to have somebody on the inside holding the glass because once you've got this all cut, the glass is going to fall out. Another glass is free. Um, now you're ready to replace your glass. So I'm going to replace and use the same glass to put it back in it. Now make sure that your setting blocks, which are these little rubber blocks, um, are back in the position that they're supposed to be. So they should be in about an inch and a half from the ends there. They've got them on the sides here too. In fact, well. They've got them on one side. So if there's if there's a um, big gobs of excess silicone, just clean that out. Take the same blocks out. Just take your chisel and you can kind of clean it out a little bit. Alright, so I got this probably clean enough. Um, most of the silicone came out, they didn't have a lot of silicone on this one. Depending on how much silicone they have, it may be harder to do what I just did. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to silicone all the way around. Okay, so the next step you're going to have is you're going to need a silicone. Using 100% clear silicone, um, you're going to put a small bead of silicone all the way around the opening. Um, 
You should remember to make sure those setting blocks stay there, because that glass has got to sit on the setting blocks. Very, very important. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of silicone, and I'm doing a real small bead here. You saw me move that setting block by accident. I'll set that back in a second. All right, so I got all the silicone on there. So move my setting block back so it's about you know that inch and a half spacing from the edge. And then you're going to take your new glass. And you're going to set it right on those setting blocks. Make sure they stay square for you. And set it back into the opening. Now it's not, it's, it's not going to stay there. It's going to fall out if you just let go of it. So, so your next step is going to be putting in your top glazing bead. Now the top glazing bead is just going to sit into that channel that the, that the glazing bead came out of. And you're going to take a rubber mallet like this and tap it into place. Try not to hit the glass too hard because you'll break it because it is probably only single strength glass you're working with. They go in a lot easier than they came out obviously as you just saw. So the top one and the bottom one and if you got a slider it's going to be the side ones first. And then the side and the side. Oops. still get it in there okay so I got the bottom snapped in a little bit I got the top snapped in and I snap it in between so and then the last one oh. and your windows all set I'm just gonna put your locks back on and your sash back in and you're all done so Thank you, and hope you can get this done. If you don't have, if you have, if you have any other problems, just feel free to give me a call. Thank you.